It's a good story, that, to be fair. Okay, nice. We've got one here. SOS, 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 John Milgram of the St. Stella Marie. We've drifted into an asteroid belt and are making a course correction to avoid but a flying blind, so no idea where we'll end up. We have lost crew. We have crew in extreme need of medical attention. We are without navigation or sense of lost all supplies, both fresh and rations. SOS, 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 fireball. Can I reply to... Um... No. Can't reply to Adam Fish yet. Just keep following this. I mean, we have got a heading. They're heading that way. They're heading into an asteroid belt, and they made, it said to made a course correction. Though. This might be the asteroid belt they're talking about. Oh. May have been that. Puzzle, I crap myself then. Oh, we're lucky not to be in anything there. Jimmy passed away last night. It's funny, I never imagined a time where I would be able to see his dumb grin. Uh, well, at least he didn't see what I've done to his ship. I took him outside, said a couple of words to him and pushed him out into the night. We never spoke about that sort of thing once, but I remember one night back on a ship. What? Jimmy passed away. Oh, okay, yeah. I thought I mean it killed him then. Now we're on it back on Harker's ship. We're talking about wanting to put in the ground back home and him just saying, uh, I like how yeah. I hope that's what you wanted, buddy. And the way we're going, not waking up after the accident might be preferable. We're truly out of supplies, both fresh and ration packs. Hammond and I have managed to live off the leftovers from drinks in the mess for a couple of days, but we're out. Our water reclaimer is working fine, so we should we shouldn't have to worry maybe about that. And that we've got a little bit of uh, for nutrition. Left from the medical supplies, but it won't go far. While outside the gym, I think I spotted a massive dark ne nebula. I'm going to turn us towards it. Maybe we can stop there and get our bearings and repair. We've got power, we should probably use it. It's going to be slow going because of the whole damage. You can't really afford to make that worse. I just don't want to sit in anymore. I spotted a massive dark nebula. Why am I going in the nebula? <laughs> We'll go around it and see if there's anything in it. I just don't want to run into anyone. Let's sneak through here. Okay, we've got another one. We've been without food for over a week and a half now. No response to our SOS. Um, I'd Hammond double check the radio. He said it was fine. 
it's starting to get hard to concentrate on things like that, but it seems to be holding up better than I am. The Dark Nebula is covering us for now. I'm just starting to panic a bit. Anyway, I've used the last of the O2 on the EVA. We lost the compressor in the accident. So that the last manual bearing we will be taking, the water reclaimer is starting to yield less and less. I think we must be losing water in the air breathing. I'm going to attempt to send another SOS beacon today, maybe the other was damaged. Quite sad about this. It's good it's good it's good this mission I think. What well, we on forty seven minutes? When did that happen? This whole episode's just been this mission. Need to think of a name for the episode. Didn't fly into the sun. I need that mining equipment. <laughs> SOS, this is Captain John Milgram from the Saint Stella Marie reporting a collision with some kind of stellar object. Several crew are dead. We are flying totally blind. Our last heading was on a bearing of 58. We have engines and RCS, but no nav map. Any nearby ships, please assist. Five eight. Don't want to get too close to that sun just in case. I can go on. It's been weeks since the accident. I'm constantly cold and I can only move for a few minutes at a time before I become exhausted. I wish I was home. Engines, as far as I can tell, are running normal. What's the name of this ship? Stella Marie. Engines, as far as I can tell, are running normal. I had to leave most of that to Hammond. Seems to be coming with a lack of rations a lot better than I am. Maybe it's his age. We've been running straight towards the clouds for 18 days, but should be, we should be coming up on some radio traffic pretty soon. I spent my entire night, entire life hauling cargo, I just never thought I'd die from it. You know, I've had some pretty hairy skips over the years, some I didn't think I'd walk away from, but I did. Starving to death out here. <laughs> I ran food supplies, it wasn't bad racket either. Jim and I, out in the void, no one's hassles. Good times, poor Jim. I feel like I'm just waiting for him to die here. Could it be? Check his baffles. Stopped.
go. heading towards us. Okay, Hammond's not sick, I mean he's lost a bit of weight but he's not sick like me, I caught him sneaking around last night just up walking around, no one this sick just walks around without reason, that little fucker must have some hidden food from me. It's why he's okay while I'm falling apart over here, I bet he thinks I wouldn't notice, like he can run the ship back to port by himself. Where was he during the accident? I'll have to check my loss, my logs. This ship can be piloted by one, but not if you don't know her, he'd never keep her on going tonight, I'm going to work out what is going on here, you can't hide things from me on my ship. Well, can you get it? Hurry up about it, like, because... I mean, at least we know the direction, but... And if you're gaining, then you're not gaining, are you? Take this slow. While we're in the nebula, make a turn. Stop this. Crap. I don't like this. Come on, come on. Distances. Opening, so that's good. We've got thrusters back on land. Don't ask me how, but I made a course correction, so we're out of power again. Not sure if it's for the best or not, but maybe someone will pick up our emissions and come find us. I'll periodically change course in the hopes of being discovered by from here on out. Clearly, our fucking SOS did nothing. Meanwhile, I caught the little fucker and bounced his head off the mess counter. He's been eating. This ash stuff, ash like stuff from the mess garbage furnace, been doing it for a while by the look of it. Pity I didn't catch him earlier when there was some left. I've got him tied up in the mess when he woke up. He had all these excuses, also full of shit. I had to gag him. He's lucky it was me here. If Jim was here, he would have caved his head in. He hated stuff like that, holding out on people, not acting like a crew. That noble bastard I saw him. Give his last couple of credits to some kids beg him when he was on shore leave and we're just a junior deckhand. I should probably go and check on Jim. Hammond, I mean, fucking, I'll just leave him out for a little bit until he calms down. I can still hear him mumbling things from down here. He knows he's done wrong. You can tell when 
but Jim feels guilty. He keeps talking like when he was taking him, talking a mile a minute. Kid did say something smart, but we both don't have to die. With the water reclaimer giving back less every day. Anyway, my head is swimming with all this activity. I'm gonna get some rest. God, come on, like. Found the next one, that's good. I'm not happy about this. to an hour. It's just full stop. I didn't think there was this many beacons. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I thought you only had so many beacons. So I figured that I only have to hold out another 20 days, but then we'll be in a major shipping lane somewhere here as unless the kid didn't check the radio. I've never double checked his work, that's ridiculous. It's my stomach talking. He wants to be here just as much as I do. I could have been sending out SS SOS calls to no one all this time. Oh, come on. Okay, yeah. about going in here. Ship. Nice one, managed to download that from quite a distance away. It's a one hour guys. Thank you for watching all this time. Hope you're excited to find out what happens this is as much as I am. 38 lines. He's starting to get sick now, I'm not gonna give this little I'm not going to give the little water we have left to the trait, we can just sit and wait, but he sounds sick, I heard him all night, I wish he'd be quiet. <laughs> not really fair to leave him there, and well suffering, he's, just, he's using my air anyway, when he stabbed Jim I should have thrown him out the night. Oh, so it's the guy who did stab him. All that food he's eating since, making him big and strong. Traitors are executed during more times, this is a war, me against time and not both of us. have to die, I still have ovens and he's going to die anyway, no point letting him suffer. No, it's better, I won't tell him that. I've got time to work on, I've got stuff to work on. <sighs> oh, man, I mean, come on, like, we've... The story's good, but, Jesus, we've been... I mean, we're on the edge of the system here. Just dragging a little bit. Like... I'm just nervous about not being able to get out of here because I'm in the top part of the system, aren't I? And just, I can't get out of here. It's a miracle 
We haven't run into anyone else yet. Oh fuck, oh fuck, I've done something wrong. Oh god, I was just hungry and mad. I'm so mad. I just saw his snivelling little face and wanted to smash it. I f just fell upon him like an animal. I just ripped at him and tried to choke him and choke him and tear him. And I saw his eyes. He was so afraid, so very afraid. But I wouldn't stop. I grabbed his head and started to smash it against the floor. His gag came off and he was screaming for his mama like a child. Screaming for her to help him. He kept looking into my eyes like he wanted to offer me something. But I just kept ramming it down. He was screaming... Though the blood in his mouth, he was screaming. Though the blood in his month mouth that I was killing him and that he didn't want to die, and for me to help him, and so so many things, it just made me crush his head down onto the steel harder to shut his in wailing up. He was just making so much noise I couldn't think, so much noise it just wouldn't stop. I did it. I did eventually. He went limp in my arms with this little whine. From a dog or something, he wasn't afraid anymore. I started to lick at the soft part of his skull. It was so warm and bitter. I was in the kitchen, but I didn't wait. I've taken more from him now. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. That poor kid. He never did anything to anyone. I'm so sorry. I'm so wow. This is getting brutal. I kind of want to end this mission before I end the episode. Purely because it's late right now where I am. I don't have time to, to record another episode. And I can't save because I'm not at the station. At least I don't think I can save. I've never tried it. This way now, anyway. Oh, this looks promising. I think we found the derelict. to derelict spacecraft. Wow, I don't actually want to go in here. Oh, hello. Hello, Captain. Hello, John. Been tracking your ship for ages, retrieving the beacons. They contain your personal loss, you know. Oh, I... I see. I'd forgotten they were included. Captain Milgram, who is on board with you. No one. There was Naxton. It's just me now. What happened to the rest of the crew? There was a terrible accident. Please help me. Oh, I don't know what I pressed there. We came into some trouble with the ship. Everything went wrong, one thing after another. It was okay at first. Life support held, but our supplies were limited. We started to run out of food. There was a boy, a young deckhand named Salmon Hammond. He was sick, very sick at the end there, and I just was so angry and hungry and desperate. I hope he's all right. I don't know if he's okay. I'm sorry, okay, I'm sorry. Things were just, I just was just so exhausted and clinging to life, but barely I, I had to, I didn't want to. What will you do with me? Um, I know you didn't mean to do it. Oh, I know what you did was heinous. Your ship's completely ruined, so I guess I have to decide whether I take you back to a diary or you not. Know? If you leave me here, I'll die. Please, please, you have to take me with you. Yep, I'll take you with me. I'm not leaving him here. Where would you take me? If you take me back to a diary, they'll probably kill me, you know. You might as well leave me here, if that's what you're thinking. Um, I'm not sure you deserve to die from this. I have no choice. Life is in your hands, Captain. You decide where to take me. 
I'll get off the second I'm able to, no matter what. If it's a diary, I'll face the consequences. If it's not, then I guess I thank you for your understanding. We'll see. It never meant to work. Well, it didn't really, did it? You know, it was in a situation. Uh, power offline, react to offline, emergency power only. Nothing's any data. Lots of cargo clamps. I don't know what that means. Can I pick up? Uh, I don't know how to pick up cargo. What's that? Private space station. Where's there a space station here? St. Stella Marie, there's nothing in there. Release the cargo clamps. Can't do anything there. I not get anything then. There's nothing. Nothing on board. as well well there was nothing to get so I said I did something wrong there but I don't think I did Sat in the pass in the in the lounge there. I mean, <laughs> imagine that situation. I feel bad for the guy. Shit. So I'm in one minute or oh, now a ten. Oh my god. That's a long episode. I'm I'm sorry. Might split can I split this? I might split this up into two. Yeah, I think I'm gonna I think I'm gonna split this into two. It's the one we've already downloaded in it. Oh no. 
almost in there. So I think we can take him anywhere apart from that other place. I don't know what it's going to do to us mission reward wise, especially since we didn't have the mining equipment. Oh no, that's the last thing I needed. Go. I'm not going to lie, I'm quite relieved to get out of there. So let's just go. <laughs> Should we go to prison mines? Let's go to our Ari station. It's nice just be, to be in normal space. for the data on the boys, 450 for the whereabouts of ship and a crew, and then two and a half thousand with the safe return the mine equipment. So I don't know what happens here. Let's just get to a ride. Let's release him. Because, you know, Put yourself in that situation, he's spent weeks on a ship. It's just driven him to madness. And you know, we're in a, we're in a new sector of space here. He seemed like a decent, from the get-go, he seemed like a decent guy. That's my justification from setting off. He seemed like a decent enough guy. He shows remorse for what he's done. You, you didn't tear back. Captain, I don't know how much to thank you. What it means to me that you'd give me a fresh, fresh start like this. I know, I know a hard decision this must have been for you. And I know you probably also don't approve of me or my actions. So I'll just, I'll just say goodbye and count my blessings. I'm sorry, Captain. I'm sorry for the position. My actions put you in. Goodbye. Don't get anything, do I? She's there again. That's good. So... Can I send a message to this other guy? Yep. I discovered the sense still a marine, the far end of the SAR system, SCR891. She was badly damaged and the cargo was missing. I, t I hate to say it, but her crew were all either dead or missing. Some crew were accounted for in the logs attached, but Captain John Milgram was nowhere to be found. You should prepare yourself before listening to these logs, though. This was not a good journey for the ship or its crew. File attached. doing nothing it's just um it's just undock and then dock nothing
Was denn? I'd like a message back. Really getting no message back. That's a little bit disappointing. <laughs> oh no. Didn't want to clutch it back out of this. Oh. Let's just take this. I'll put my own on pocket bed too. So 50. Yeah, we'll do this. I can't remember what it was, but... I'm, I really want a, a finale to this. I mean, we must get some credits. Surely. We've just done all that work and we don't get any credits. New, we've got a new mail. That's got to be it. <clears throat> oh my gosh, Captain. I don't know what to say. Thank you. Thank you for finding these logs. And returning them. We're sending the salvage crew out to retrieve the remains of the St. Marina crew. Our hearts go out to the families of those deceased. I'm certain you'll do yours. We're putting out an alert throughout Diwali. If John Milgram ever enters the port here again, he'll be immediately taken by Krimikopics people and interrogated for his crimes. I just can't fathom it. It's beyond words, really. I know it seems crass to discuss money at this time, but as promised you delivered was the beacons and the remains of the ship, so I've got 12 50 for you as per agreement, but I've freed up some additional monies because from the reading those logs, you had a much larger journey than we anticipated, so I'm transferring you 1850 credits now, and thank you much for your assistance nice i'm just glad to have a little finale to that that was enjoyable uh, we had to pick up a contract i'm just going to do this now before i forget what was it that And we'll do that next episode. Thank you very much for sticking around for that. I'm going to split this into, up into two parts because I'm up to an hour and 20. Um, but that was really enjoyable. Uh, we had a bit of a rough time with um, with a pirate encounter, which we managed to get out of by dropping some cargo, unfortunately. But yeah, really enjoyable. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you in the next episode. Bye-bye.